Hey Sagittarius, it's me the Sunlight Oracle here and I have your relationship reading my friends for the month of July 2021. All right, so I do these in a very specific way. What I need you to do is drop your shoulders, relax your jaw, take a deep breath in and then out <laughs> and think of a person. And what I need you to do is go with the first person who comes to mind and trust my friends that that's who we're channeling messages about today, okay? We're gonna explore the dynamic, the timeline, and offer a resolution if need be. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. You are the Eight of Pentacles. I love the Eight of Pentacles. Cool, they are the Queen of Rods. What a great team. We're gonna look at your perception of them. Nice, and their perception of you. Uh-huh, I'll say right now, they think you work too hard. <laughs> So before we jump into this dynamic, um, I just want to ask that you subscribe if you like this real talk kind of reading. Uh, it's a small channel and every subscription is super major, so thank you. But let's get going here with you, Sag, the Eight of Pentacles. What are you working so hard on? What are you trying to master? I feel like it's kind of all encompassing right now. Like maybe your relation, maybe your. Um, Focus isn't so much on relationship and that's what's brought you to the relationship reading. You're like, actually, I've been really busy and should check in with this uh, aspect of my life. And the person that you're concerned about is actually someone who you really admire, who you really see being in your life for a long time, kind of for the long haul sort of thing. And I also feel like some of you might be here checking in on a long distance relationship. It feels like there's physical distance, not emotional, but physical. Um, Maybe a little bit of emotional too as a result. And I feel like you are just, your priorities right now are your own and they are super focused on making things work, but making things work with money, making things work with career. And this person is like, that's cool and all, but my values <laughs> have a lot more to do with like big picture thinking. So while you're here mastering something, they're here dreaming about something. Does that make sense? That could be like a very, fundamental difference that you're experiencing this July, 2021. Mm -hmm. Again, I want to say that you perceive them as someone who is there and like someone who, on, again, I, this is for similar to a Virgo reading last month, which is like on paper, this person appears to be someone with whom you can come together, even build a future with. If you really look at it, like this male figure and this female figure, we have a male identifying figure here and a female here. And it looks like they're literally, these two people could be the ones coming together. So that's really interesting in your perception of what could be. But this person also sees you as someone who is fixated on what isn't working, fixated on lack, could be a lack of money, could be a lack of inspiration. And they're standing here behind you as these two cups saying like, but you have me. So I feel like this person is actually really invested in making the relationship work as like sort of a centerpiece or a focal point of both of your lives. You kind of share that. You're like, I get that in theory. However, right now at this moment in July, you might be feeling t drawn toward other things. And I want to say and make space for you Sagittarius that that is okay, that you don't have to operate on anyone else's timeline but your own. However, I do think that this needs to be discussed and brought out into the open because the perceptions are so different. I feel like this person has very high emotional expectations of this relationship, whereas you are like, I'm not so worried about this. I'm not worried about the relationship. I'm worried about making money or I'm worried about building my own business or I'm worried about providing for my future family. Whereas the other person is um, concerned about the relationship as opposed to the future, the now the emotions, not the logic. We have another case of a kind of logic versus emotions here, which I've seen in quite a few readings this month. So know that you're not alone. I also kind of want to, I don't normally clarify. I have been clarifying a bit today just because I want to see here. We're going to clarify um, your expectations or your perception of them. Clarify that please. That guy wants to come out. Okay. 
The Three of Swords, that's interesting. So I wanna, um, no one loves to see that card, especially as it relates to our relationships, but I'm wondering if you ha are, do have um, sort of like a seed of doubt shown in whether or not this is gonna work, whether or not the emotions of this person are going to be a good complement to your logic. On paper, again, emotions and logic, they complement each other quite well. But I feel like, again, you are so uh, invested in yourself and your own development at this time, you might not be available for a relationship. Uh, if you're like, that doesn't resonate, I just encourage you to ask yourself those questions. You know, I'm just here to be your humble tarot guide. In the past, what we get is judgment. Interesting. In the present, the devil. Wow. Okay. In the future, the six of swords. Very interesting. I see judgment in the past here and I do interpret this quite literally given the dynamic of the relationship we just discussed, which is that judgment is not something that is unfamiliar to you. Perhaps you are actually the recipient of it <laughs> from this other person, but you also know how to dish it out. There's some silent judgment going on here. There's something going on here where you both are living different lifestyles. I feel like this person is already kind of along in their career perhaps and you're trying to build yours in like a very sustainable way that allows you to live your truth. And when we are on different paths at different paces, we can kind of look at each other and claim that we don't understand one another, you know? And that's where we get in the present with the devil, which again, it's corroborating this whole like misunderstanding thread that I'm picking up on here. And I feel like you specifically might begin to feel chained you see the folks chained to the devil here or bogged down and because there is a male and a female and we have a male and a female representing the two of you today whether you are male female non-binary etc is kind of you know irrelevant that the tarot and gender is sort of irrelevant as well but for the sake of echoing symbolism you and you're both feeling kind of chained or bogged down by the other because Perhaps you're, again, trying to build something, master something. They're trying to build something and master something too, but it's more of the emotional nature. It's more of the future tripping nature, you know? And I feel like both of you could potentially be limiting one another in your pursuits. So honestly, if they want to go and have like a family already and have like this long-term thing and they want it now, you need to ask yourself if you are the person who can indeed provide that for them. And if you are looking to build your business or master your finances or create some something from the heart, then you have to ask if you have time to really invest with someone who is really trying to create something psychic and, and emotional. Do you see this? Are we all being honest here? Have you discussed this? Because I feel like this person kind of already has a good read on you, but do you have a good read on yourself? And do you have a good read on what you really want and what's holding you back? Interesting Sagittarius. Okay, in the future, the Six of Swords. I don't like to future trip. I don't like to go to the past either as a tarot reader. I like to remain in the present. But I think in the present, what you're doing, what you're thinking about in terms of, am I being bogged down? <laughs> if you're being honest about this, how does that catapult you into thinking about what the next move is? Are you going to transition? Are you going to leave the stormy season, enter smoother waters? That's what this card indicates, but it's up to you because you have free will, Sagittarius, always. You have a choice, but don't be surprised, I guess, if you find yourself reflecting on this presently and affecting your future and the transitions that you make and the, the life changes that are a result of self-reflection, which is why on my channel, I love to encourage self-reflection because I know that self-reflection is what dictates the future. And we can change our future when we reflect on ourselves, our desires, and when we are honest. So Sagittarius, I'm encouraging you as your tarot reader for today to be very honest with what you want from this. Let's see the resolution, temperance. Mm -hmm. So we do have two extremes here, uh, at least represented in the tarot by you and them. You are the eight of pentacles and they are the queen of rods. And it really is an extreme of desires, you know, like there's, you, you very heavily desire whatever it is you're working on and they very heavily desire what they want. The question of making this work is temperance, tempering the expectations. 
do you want to do that? This isn't, this is not set in stone, Sag. Like this is something that is like being offered to you. It's like, if you want to make this work, you know, th then we need to temper the expectations. Um, they need to expect that you are going to want to work more. You need to expect that you might need to work less in order to, um, a cheat or like to give them the emotional support, love, etc., that they desire. You know what I mean? Like there has to be some compromise here if there's gonna be peace here. Nobody is forcing you to make a compromise. And that's where I think the Six of Swords is coming in, which is like, you are the captain of your own ship, my friend. You can go, you can stay, you can go, you can continue on your own way, or you can learn how to, again, temper expectations and share what you're building with this person. Welcome them in, bring them into the process. Maybe don't isolate yourself so much or continue to isolate yourself, master your craft and go your own way. You see, there are always options. And I think this is a really interesting reading. I very much enjoyed giving it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a card here from the Sunlight Oracle deck to send you on your way out of psychic world and back into reality for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Any advice? Ooh, sorry, my friends. They're flying everywhere. Here we go, community. That's interesting. I feel like this kind of comes, um, this has to do with you specifically, not so much the relationship that we were just discussing in such great depth, but with you, I really do feel like there's this call to go within yourself. Um, I'm surprised that the hermit is not here to be honest. I feel hermit energy going over this whole reading and, uh, ask yourself what about isolation serves you. And I think you can probably come up with a few answers and then ask yourself, what could a commu what with community could benefit me, which again, then yeah, let's pull this person back in here. It's like, do you want to create a chosen family? Do you want to create a community with this person that exists outside of yourself? I, again, I'm speaking like there is no option better than the other. Every person is born different. So I hope you don't think that I'm insinuating that one is better than the other, but it's like isolation versus community. Also, you can definitely find community within your isolation. That is, takes one to know one sort of thing. So again, both options are beautiful. Both options are available to you and you get to decide your destiny. Okay. Thank you, Sagittarius, for being here. This was a great reading. I hope you liked it. And I will catch you next week with your July 16th through the 31st, 2021 forecast readings. Until then, have a great day.